Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are playing some more Starfield at a very unfortunate 30 frames per second. I cannot fix that. It is not my computer. Everyone is having this unfortunate problem. Even those with 4090s. I mean, not everyone with 4090s, but some unlucky if you are. I found the cargo hold. Who would have thought that it would be a panel and not like something, you know, more obvious? Like this or these perhaps, but you know, it is what it is, but I found it. Now we have to jump into orbit or to a different system. <coughs> and the jump takes fuel. <coughs> So, that takes half of our fuel. So, I wonder if having cargo determines how much fuel we have. Or how much fuel we use. Because if it does, that is awesome. <clears throat> so let's see if I can find... Hmm... <clears throat> It'll be under J for jump, I believe. There isn't one for jump. Nope. <clears throat> nope, there is not one for jumping. Interesting. Hmm. <clears throat> what about S fast travel? Um, there isn't one for fuel either. Hmm. Is there ship mass? <clears throat> um, no. So maybe it does not take... You can dock with other starships. Oh, that's sweet. <clears throat> mm. Hmm. Oh, sleeping increases XP gain if you are well rested. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I don't see anything that says it down um, the weight of your ship does anything for your fuel capacity that you use. You can use the star map to travel to different areas of the planet you're currently on, or travel to a different location on a different planet. Explosives, experience points. <clears throat> Let's see here. Did I mean you ship? Here we go. No? Yeah, no, it does not say that it take that the weight affects Maybe it doesn't. But if it does Hold up, I wonder. 
<coughs> can we transfer? Hold on. Let's take all, and then can we? I will load the save back up. Don't worry. Because it will take a long time to put it all back in. No, it's the same. And it could be because I have all of that weight on me. So hold up, I have, I have an idea. I have an idea. Um, let's find out if I do the following. <clears throat> I have a gun or two or something else in my cargo hold. It was what, 6.887? Okay, so transfer. No, I have eight. Okay, so let's take some resources. Let's take all of this out. And then let's go out here. Drop it on the ground. While we're here, go back let's in the ship. So I can pick up some ammo. Not this, come on now. No, not okay, can can I bind my map, my buttons here? Hold on. Bindings. Oh, I can't. Okay, hold up now. I want that button to open up the um, inventory and not start because it is easier. <coughs> and I want. I want. Maybe not. No, I won't do that. It'll be a, a big cluster fudge if I do that. Never mind. Okay, so let's go here and then let's drop it all actually how much how much does that weigh so we'll take it all god bless it dude maybe i will okay so that's not much weight at all but now let's go into our ship and let's see if that did indeed drop our fuel consumption wow there little lady Okay, so now let's go into here, set course. It does not. Okay, now we know. Now we know. So mass does not matter. Bummer. Bummer. Because that would be a nice feature if they had that in here, but they don't. <coughs> well, now we know. Yep, it's the same. That nine extra mass does not affect our fuel. So how do we get fuel? That's the next question. Um, let's come out here and see if we can Listen find. While we're here, and see if Joe has anything useful to add to our arsenal. Where is that one guy at? Is it you that we talked to to get fuel? Hey, what can I do for you? No, 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 no. Anything I can help you with? Maybe it's this one? Nothing for us to do. Sure, how about it? Okay, so that only does this. I'm betting this gives us fuel. I'm sure you can find something you like. And this is just the... Okay. Can I buy... I can sell this one. In a long time, I'm betting that is where we get fuel. Soul system doesn't get a lot of traffic. Hold up. Will she detect me, I wonder? Oh, okay, now she won't. What if we go out here? I think she is detecting me. Unless he is out there. Is she detecting me? 
There's no way. Okay. If she's detecting me, that's broken. Hold on, let's find out. Can I? Sidonia isn't. You can't get rid of me. <coughs> oh yeah, that's right. Duh. Okay, let's just go ahead and. Do you require my assistance? I don't know. Yeah, she is. She is. Yeah. Okay, so that's. That's not cool. That's not cool. Actually, no, she's not. Okay, maybe not. Okay, I was wrong. Good to know. Alright. Enough messing around. Let's go to Earth. Let's go to Earth. This is United Colony Space. Maintain current course while we scan for contraband. You're cleared to land. Enjoy your stay at Sidonia. That was a pretty quick load screen. Let's go ahead and get our shields up all the way. Alright, and now we're going to a new city. I wonder how my frames will handle this. Eh, it's not really a city. Cool, okay. Oh. I am wearing a helmet, though. I... Please disregard. I attempt... I have a helmet on! I have a helmet on, game! Did an informal greeting. I have a helmet on, game! I have a helmet on. What is going on? I have a suit and helmet on. Why is it saying I don't have one on? I do have one on. Is it because of the boost pack? <gasps> oh, and pack. Oh, that's your oxygen. Oh. Oh, that's... It does not tell you that. Oh. Does it tell you that in the help? No. It does not tell you that in the anywhere. Dude. Hello, devs. You might want to tell us that. Um, I pressed jump and it didn't jump, like always. So that's a bug in this game, too. Joy! Leeches in the engine. Leeches on the hull. Multiple leeches in the grab drive. Suppose that would explain the 
brownouts. So what's this going to run? There are no other surprises. Mid five figures. Five figures? Five? Fine. Wait, hold on. Now. What? What? Do what? what? I'll be at the bar. Find me when it's done. We're on it, sir. I'm sorry, but you wouldn't just stop moving in space. No. You wouldn't just... No. Dude, the parkour in this game is going to be amazing. Oh! Woo! Oh, can I make it? Oh, this game is sexy. Don't mind me, I'm having fun on the moon. <laughs> I mean, I mean Mars. <laughs> my mistake. <laughs> I don't know my planets very well, I'm sorry. I'm kidding, I do. <laughs> and going here? Damn. Could I unbind that button? Because I don't want it. No. Can we go to Earth? Can we can we go? You know, can we go to can we go to the moon? <gasps> where, where's where's Earth? Where where where's where, where's where's Earth? I, I, I want to go home. Et go home. S S Venus. Or <gasps> can we go? Can we go to Luna? Can we go here? Can we go to Earth? Oh, Earth is um dead. Okay, thin CO2. So Earth is dead. Good to know. <laughs> there is no air there. Uh, good to know. Cool. I wonder what caused that to happen. Oh wait, I probably know. Nukes. Mm-hmm. But I wonder if we can go there or not. I wanna know. I wanna know. You know what? For science. No, 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 that one. No. Wrong one, dang it. Save my game. And now we do this. I figured as much. Load my save. <clears throat> so what kind of sickness do I have? And how do I get my health back? Or is that radiation? Or whatever. I don't know. I don't give a crap if I'm missing health. Eh. Where do I go from here? I can walk in space and all this fun crap, because yes. <laughs> She's over there, that's funny. No, 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 no. Oh, I ain't dead. Nice. Hey, game. Um, thank you. I might be screwed here, I don't know. I don't know. I might be boned. Ah. Hey, game, I know I can tell this. Come on now. Thank you. Hope nothing bad happens today. Oh, uh, hi there. Well, I... Uh, I guess I am. The thing is, uh, I get injured on the job a lot. Nothing too serious. I've lost a few fingers and toes and stuff. And, well, I have to go see Dr. Flynn a lot for treatment. I'm pretty sure she's annoyed and sick of seeing me. I don't blame her. I've been thinking about writing her a letter of apology, but I have no idea where to even start. 
I don't want to come across as weird or annoying. No. Oh, I mean, was that too frank? I, I don't know. I mean, the job pays well, but it's dangerous and hard work. I hurt myself a lot, too. <sighs> I'm definitely looking forward to my contract being up so I can leave. But I don't really know what I'll do after. Oh, man. This is all so stressful. Find a lady and settle down and, you know, oh, there you go. Yeah. Goodbye. Excuse me. Okay, now let's go in here and do whatever we gotta do. Uh. More loading screens. Yay. I don't mind the loading screens, honestly. Like, yeah, they're immersion breaking, sure. But, I mean, I don't mind them. Careful down near the mines. And what do you mean there's no sites at your own risk? Yeah, do you have any idea how far we've traveled? How much money we spent to hitch a ride to this dusty red rock? Mining's fair work. Let's but get you out can't of take here. it all so seriously. Maybe it's not I too late to catch a ride mates. back home. We're pulling rocks yeah. out of the ground, not building spaceships. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Nice to meet you. Name's Trevor, mining director for the Deimos Mining Project here in scenic underground Sidonia. I could spare a minute or two to chat. So long as you're not looking for mining work, I suppose. Argos, huh? Yeah, I've heard of them. That's great. But, yeah. Unfortunately, all our mining contracts are filled right now. Unless... Maybe you could help me out with a job. Off the books. Nice. I love the enthusiasm. Now do yourself a favor and get to know some of the miners. It'll remind you what you're doing this for. Uh, anyway, I'm getting off track. See, you might have noticed that our equipment ain't exactly holding together like it used to. Problem is, we can't get new equipment unless we start exceeding our quotas. And we can't do that until we get new equipment. A real dilemma, right? I've got a plan for solving our little problem, though. Okay, mm. glad you're still on board. First, I need someone from the outside to bolster our yields so we can prove that we can exceed our quota. I'll fill you in on the rest of the details after you've hauled up some more. One standard quota should do. I need to know I can trust you with the easy stuff first. Sounds easy. Enough, drop it off in the bin over there for processing. Then come see me. <coughs> sure, I don't mind doing that. Missions, huh? Gather iron, huh? I love how they all have mission boards. This is cool. Oh, dude. Transport scientists. I don't know if I can do that or not because I don't have enough car. Um, yeah. A friend offered me a nice cushy office job. Sarah Morgan. Jack, I'm gonna need oh, a she's... Drink tonight. Ah. Idea I've had. This life ain't this easy. This one's on the house. To pace the bills. There's nothing like seeing old soul coming through the big window in the morning. Been serving drinks here for over 40 years. Not everyone needs to come to me with their problems. I ain't a psychiatrist. Plenty. But if I went blabbing them to any rando that walks into my bar, no one would ever tell me anything around here. 
You don't do this job for 45 years by losing your customer's trust. You're right. Because I'm not telling you jack shit. Now you'd be wise to stick a beer in your mouth and mind your own damn business because I don't put up with this sort of drama. You ain't been around. Hmm. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. You got another word for it? He means out of space. Ma'am. The blackest sea, huh? Sounds about right, yeah. Look. Nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially one that's missing. But... <clears throat> he has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but... If I'm out all that money, I got problems. What do you say? <clears throat> Come on. Life on Sedona. Oh, she liked enough. that. Okay. You gonna guilt trip me? Plus six. Dang, dude. Yeah. I'll get you, boy. Maybe. All right, I give up. Just trying to earn a living here. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the lady of love, <laughs> singing songs, all that kind of thing. Venus, that's only one planet, hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? Oh, fine, we'll make do. Go to Venus. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. What is up here? What is up here? What is up here? I want to loot stuff because I'm a butthole. Is that my ship? I'm wondering. Hold on. I think it is my ship. Hmm. It only is not so bad. Honest work, good pay. I can't complain. Bro, what the fudge? Okay. Don't mind me, I'm just exploring. <laughs> I'm exploring your facility for stuff. Ah! Ha ha ha! Okay. Well, don't mind if I do. No. No, we're not gonna do that. <coughs> Did we get a bonus? Um, yeah, maybe not. No, I mean, um, no, maybe not, no. We'll wait. We'll come back. I only have three left. I'd rather get some more than waste them. So I wonder if I can buy some or not. Hold up. Um. Because I do have money. How much do I have? Crap. How much do I have? 
Uh, yeah, I could probably buy some. I got 23,000 or whatever it is. Good lord, dude. I got money up my ears. At least for now. Plus, I have that mining job, which will pay for them. Nice. Can't say I'm a fan of excitement and drunk. Got cold beers and good atmosphere. I like a drink. Okay, so they're only aid, nothing else. Don't be a stranger. Does anyone... Okay, hello. I'm looking to join a crew. Any openings? And... She only has one specialty. Hey, good to see you. Hello, traveler. Will you join me for a while? You strike me as someone with an interesting story. Call it scholar's intuition. Some other time, then. Can't believe we're still pulling up huge mineral deposits after all this time. Going to have to lug cargo across half the universe to pay for this cleaning. Can you believe people used to think the nearby mountain was a face on the surface of Mars? Ridiculous, huh? Doesn't mm. look anything like one. I don't see any store people here hey. besides the park. <laughs> yeah. Alright, whatever. We're gonna do the... Uh, I mean... I don't know if I want to do that or not, honestly. Red tape blues. Okay. Are you a store? Sergeant Booth at your service. If you have a security related concern, bring it up to me. Well, it ain't drugs if that's what you're worried about. You'll notice it happens to miners and anyone else that's been down in the red Martian dust too long. Nothing to worry about any more than anyone else around here. Hmm. Used to be a sign someone was ready for the red devils. And some of the ex-red devils still think they're a big deal. They ain't as badass as they think they are. And any that do have a chip on their shoulder and cause trouble, well, I'll put them in their place. Don't let me keep you. All right. Who are you? Well, in. What can I do you for? Trackers hey, Alliance Doc. agent. You look like the type who doesn't mind getting their hands dirty. The Trackers Alliance can always use more bounty hunters to round up and kill wanted criminals. Heck like yeah, speed, dude. Talk to me, or check out our posts on the mission boards. Oh, darling, a bounty on you. That is quite the pickle you've gotten yourself into. <laughs> this ain't a normal bounty. Looks like someone's paying ecliptic and paying them good. But don't worry, sugar. I got you. For 3,000 creds, I can make sure your sheet's as clear as a summer night on Parima. Remove wanted trait permanently. Of course. If you change your mind, I'll be here. Huh, you can remove that trait permanently. I kind of want to keep it for the extra money and stuff and the extra XP because why not? Good. Here's the short of it. I'm only stationed here because I made a mistake, killed the wrong bounty, and the right one got away. It's bugged me ever since. Now, I heard rumors that this no good, dirty quarry's been lurking around Mars, but I ain't mm. had the good fortune of him strolling on in here. I think he's smart enough to know better. I got a plan in place to find him, but I gotta prove to my other tracker contact that he's here. That's where you come in. Just gotta plan a sensor. No danger to you. Ken Plakis, smuggler, the worst kind. Deals in all sorts of black market goods. He's wanted for grand theft, human trafficking, murder, you name it. Mm. He's also extremely good at what he does. He's eluded the best of UC security for years. He's even slipped by our own trackers, myself included. I'm convinced he set me up to fail, found a look-alike to unwittingly take a fall, made me look bad. So I'm sure you understand it's kind of personal. 
He doesn't know it, but he's got a chip in him with a unique ID. Part of the reason he's learned to keep out of the major cities and settlements. Trackers always manage to find him when he comes to town, so he just stays away. But he's a slippery fella. That's why I want to send someone to catch him where he feels safe. Just along the outskirts. Sensors tuned to that chip. Makes sense now, don't it? Uh -huh. Hell no! If I'd have wanted you to do that, I'd be asking you to do that. Now, I got a good friend. Tracker buddy who stuck by me through and through. Gonna split the hall with him as soon as he brings the mark in. That ain't up for debate or negotiation. Under no circumstances are you to interact with my quarry, or you'll find yourself at the wrong end of a bounty. All right, so you're gonna want to take this here sensor and put it way up at the tippy top of the old Mars launch pad tower where it's nice and unobstructed. You're gonna want to make sure you've got a boost pack to help get yourself up there, or else it's gonna be a tough climb. I don't have Mars one. Gravity's on the low side, but not that low. It'll track down my Mark's chip signal, assuming he shows, and I'll call in my partner to take care of him. Clear out and come back to me as soon as you're done so you don't spook the quarry. Get it? Got it? Good. I don't have... I don't have a boost pack yet. I have one, but I can't use it. I can't imagine being cramped down here, choking on the fumes and the dust. No trees, no grass. <sighs> That's depressing. For science! Ha <laughs> I can't imagine being stuck down here gathering rocks for a living when there's an entire universe to explore. Whoa! whoa. What the hell are you firing at? I'm firing at your mom. Um... Is that not iron? Dude, can I not mine it? fracking on Mars with subterranean particle detonations. Those announcements are just to let people know when to expect it. Now you probably felt the rumble when the detonations actually go off. That's all it is. Not too bad, eh? Hmm. Basically it's high-tech mining. We use immensely powerful controlled particle detonations deep underground to loosen up subterranean gases and other difficult to gather resources so we can harvest them. Sounds way more dangerous than it is. Probably. Actually, it's still pretty dangerous if you don't keep doing it. 
Yeah, no worries, mate. I can totally see how it'd be odd if you're not used to it. Just sit down, or be sure you're within reach of something to hold on to if the quaking makes you uneasy, and you'll be fine. Great. Now, the next part is a little trickier. Our director of mining operations, Peter Brown, <coughs> fired his last assistant over a month ago. Peter's the only one who can approve the order for new equipment, and unfortunately, he's useless without an assistant. I think I've got a surefire way for you to get that job. Then you, as his assistant, can get him to sign off on the approval. You don't think I've tried? Like I said, the guy is literally useless without his assistant. I don't even know if he knows how to actually use a computer. <laughs> and everything Deimos does is so mired in bureaucracy because of their contracts with the UC. Which means, unfortunately, we need to do all the things by the book if we want them done at all. Now hold on, it's not that easy. You'll need to apply for it like anyone else. Head to the Deimos Star Yard's office up in orbit to fill out the application. It's where that job is posted. Come back and see me when you've done that, and we'll talk about how to secure the position for you. You're jumping through a lot of hoops to get those miners the equipment that they need. I mean... Do you have a child or children between the ages of 5 to 18? Alright, so we need to go to orbit, huh? What is that thing? Oh, Diant Demos, okay. Phobos and Demos, okay, yeah, yeah. Set course for Demos. Can we actually go to like here? Oh, we can, dude, cool. <laughs> I'm gonna go check out your anus. <laughs> I'm gonna get to check up my own ass. <laughs> Let's go here then, shall we? I'll see it a bit quicker. We're good on speed. Cargo bobs, dude. Holy crap, man. Nope, I wanna hit it. Nope, I hit it. Wrap on a cracker, dude. Saying I go right to there, but. Mmm, I don't know if I trust that. Where can I land at?
board. Hey, we can now get the the jetpack. Boost pack training. Yes. Boost jump ten times while in combat. When humanity finally left the cradle of Earth behind. I wish Demos was exclusively a military combat. Demos builds some of the toughest ships in the settled systems. That's probably why the UC Navy continues to contract with them to this day. Hmm. They're a true piece of history. Hmm. No other ship can hold it. Hmm. Do I have a bounty? No, I don't have a bounty. Deimos customer whatever. Resource listings. And you can get jobs anywhere in this game. <laughs> oh no! This you will now be asked a series of questions to help you assess your competence for. Good lord. VIP mm. arrives at the office for a meeting with the executive who is running late. Offer drinks. Offer them use of your old banged up ship. <laughs> hmm. Malfunction prevents the exec's starship from from starting up. And they need to go to an important off-world meeting. I would do this one. While handling the executive's email, you come across a message claiming to have damaging info about the exec. I would do... that one. Contacts you and asks you to meet them in their office in the middle of the night. You can tell they're drunk. Yes. <laughs> Now we gotta go back there, huh? <clears throat> that one is still there. Interesting. These are all the same jobs no matter where we go. Interesting. And we have another job too that we got. No, no, I want missions.
the bounty got, they got away. So let's go ahead and talk to her while we're here. You should be honored to step foot in here. Ah, it's nice to see someone not in uniform. They can be so touchy, you know. <laughs> Always eager to point out the slightest problem. Oh, please tell me you aren't secretly some high-ranking general, are you? Hmm. I am the Grand General Lissimio. <laughs> Oh, I was. Most of us at Deimos served in the UC Navy in one capacity or another. I mustered out as a chief warrant officer. <laughs> Pretty good for a non-com, eh? But there is a lot of top brass around here, so you have to always be at your best. What a relief. I assume you're here for a ship. Either that, or you are really, really lost. Mr. Henderson handles sales, but if you want to know anything about our ships, I'm your gal. I mean, they're very good, obviously. But these days, everyone's using the same core tech, right? Oh, shit. Do you know you can be lectured on being too honest? <laughs> right, right. Uh, what makes Demo special, though, is the package. We've been building ships forever, and the way we put it all together, well, it's really good. In a, I'm gonna murder my enemies sort of way. Hmm. Huh? The UC Navy. I repaired just about every class of vessel there is. I even repaired Henderson's longsword once or twice. I swear that man has a guardian angel with him full time. <laughs> or three. Deimos hired me because I know every rivet and microchip on these ships. So if Henderson gets stumped on something, it's showtime. Oh yeah? Well, I take that as a compliment. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It can be pretty hard working with these no-nonsense military types. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I probably shouldn't say things like that. At least not so loudly. I've already been written up twice this week. I can only take so many lectures. <sighs> Man, I could really use a drink. Yeah, but who thinks to themselves, man, I could really use a nice glass of water after a hard day. <laughs> Me. What I could really use is Jake's Stout, <coughs> from Jake's Bar in New Atlantis, of course. Or the well, to be more specific. Oh, I used to love that place when I lived there. I mean, Jake isn't friendly, but he could make a pretty good drink. Say, you're the traveling type, right? Would you mind grabbing me one of Jake's Stouts? Awesome! Thank you so much! I eagerly await your return. If you have your own ship, we're always looking for bulk resources. The Star Yards have negotiated a set price with the Trade Authority. Twice the market rate. Most contractors either represent mining mm. companies or are miners themselves. <coughs> But really, we don't care where you get the resources. So however you procure them is your own affair. Once you have the requested resources in your cargo hold, just return to me. We'll pay you the agreed fee and we'll send the porters to pick up the cargo. If you deliver the full amount, <laughs> there's a bonus in it for you too. As a first-time contractor, I am required by law to let you know that every star yard offers the same terms. But obviously, you should deal with us. Depending on your cargo hold size, you may need to make several trips to fulfill the order. So what we need is... iron. The request is for a large quantity, 5,000 units of it. I'll come back later then. Okay. What we need is always changing. Oh, yeah. Bye. Welcome to Demos. Okay, 5,000. Hmm. Our ship is not that he um, able to go <laughs> or carry that much right now. 
<laughs> and probably will never be able to. I could go ahead and do this one. It is extra money. But... Hmm... <clears throat> Can I... I would be better off mining the iron myself versus buying it. Definitely. Because I doubt it will pay a lot. Um, let's go ahead and do this one. Talk with Noel about quarters. Alright. No, let's go ahead and do this one, actually. Yeah, let's go back there now. Yeah, there's no iron here at all. Chlorine, water. Oh, there's actually water here. Where at, though, I wonder? All through there, really? Wow. No, up there. I see now, yeah. Yeah, the water is up there. Yep, and down there. Fracking station. Mars Tech Factory. All right. Oh, and it tells you when you're in the. Oh. Yeah, so that's water. That's chlorine. What about the other stuff? This is all lead, right? Yeah, this is all lead. What about, um. Chlorosilanes. Is it like in the water or something, I wonder? No? Weird. Where is that stuff at, I wonder? Chlorine. What are the traits, I wonder? Interesting. Hmm. Wonder what the traits mean. And how you unlock them. Hmm. Let's do our engines. Yeah. Let's do our engines. Land here. Helium 3 is a standard fuel for graph drives. So, how do I get more? How do I get more fuel for my... Right, oh, whatever, let's just talk to this guy in here real quick. I thought I broke the game. That would have been awesome.
Dude, worry. that's nice. We're gonna make sure you get that job. Trust me, this is the best shot we've got at getting that request approved. Okay, now we need to ensure you get hired. Basically, we'll need to make sure you're the only choice. To do that, you'll need to get access to the HR terminal in the corporate office upstairs on the main level. Mm. If you delete the other applications from the system, you'll be a shoo in. Believe me, if you knew Tia, you wouldn't worry. I'll be honest, she's so overworked and behind in her tasks that I don't even think she knows there are any applications. That's a good point, though. Once your application is in, I'll ping her and ask her to take a look to see if any applications came in for me. That should get her to finally take a look. See yours, and if all goes well, she'll hire you on the spot. I happen to know that the HR director, Tia, and the other women in the office tend to go to the Broken Spear for happy hour at five every evening. That's your window of opportunity. That's the spirit! Five every this is evening. gonna help everyone. By the way, the HR password is password spelled backwards, which Tia thinks is pretty clever. She gets talkative during happy hour and loud. I'm surprised everyone doesn't know her password, honestly. Anyway, should be pretty easy. Good luck. So what time is it in the game right now? 11.45 local time. And that's on the planet, not in the game. Because if it was in the game, or, you know, in real life, well, you know, yeah. Wow. So... Yeah, the low gravity is gonna make this game fun as heck, I swear. It's gonna make this game fun as heck. What's up here? Ooh, yeah. The low gravity is gonna make this game a blast. I s oh, yeah. Oh, what's up there? Ooh. Always nice to kick back in the broken spear after a long. Ah, buddy. Oh yeah, okay. That's that's what that is. Okay, cool. <laughs> that's what that is. Look at the size of this cavern. I wonder how much of it's natural. And how much was carved out to accommodate Sidonia's mining operations? Lux condominium has premium apartments available to rent. All right. Yep. No, we're not getting access to that right now. <laughs> His password is Drow Sap. <laughs> That's funny. Password built backwards. Maybe the first major ship manufacturer, but that doesn't mean we haven't kept up with the times. Oh, it's been an hour. Why the time is wrong? Maybe not, okay. It's amazing how smoothly our mining operations run with me in charge. Requires I can't recall the last time we've had any major issues. Hey, can I sit in your chair, buddy? <laughs> Alright. I am going to put a save here. And then I will see all of you next time with some more Starfield. Hopefully you are all enjoying it as much as I am. I know I've been doing mostly side quests, but 
why not? It's a new game to explore, so I'm going to explore it. But anyway, so if you guys are enjoying the videos from Starfield, feel free to subscribe, like, and hit the bell for more. It will help my channel grow. And I will see all of you next time. Have a wonderful day.